Now, I bet you didn't know you can make your car faster without messing with your engine whatsoever. Now, why not tune in today to watch us fit some Lamborghini-style mods to the police Focus RS. Now, to those of you that have been watching our Police Focus RS series, Modifying a Police Car, you might have known that we haven't yet started on the performance mods, but that's exactly why today we are at MJ Performance down in Plymouth to install some of the best array of modifications seen on one of these cars on the internet. Now, Owen, they want to know, what is your favorite modification to go on a car? Because I think after 20 years of experience, you've certainly got some knowledge. Okay, so the favorite mod that I've got on my car is the brakes. Okay. okay so today we're here to do wheels, tires, and brakes because they're all working together to make the whole package work as a whole. That's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna fit the biggest brakes that we can get under these wheels. They are immense. Now, when we say we've got some big modifications coming on the Police RS, we don't say that lightly. This company here, MJ Performance, have built this incredible custom Focus RS that's actually running methanol, but more on that later. But Owen, why did we choose MJ out of all the other places we could have gone to? I mean, you've just got to look at this behind you. Martin really knows his stuff. It's local to us as well, so it just made absolute sense to come to MJ Performance. Right, now, before we put this stuff on the car, we've got it laid out on the desk here, uh, and Martin's kindly offered to show us around the kit that we're gonna be putting on. Now, the first thing that I can see here is that monster great caliper, Martin. Yeah, so can you? Let's have a look at that. Show that to the viewers, because that's so, just nuts. Look at this, viewers, all right? So this is not your average caliper. So this is, as it said, like Owen said, it's a monster caliper. So it's an eight pot progressive piston, which means it's got eight pistons inside. They're different sizes. That's all to do with the, the way that it breaks. Um, it's all nicely finished. It's got our logo embossed down the side that's properly engraved. So it's like supercar sized. And yeah, you can have this on your Mark III Focus RS. It's very impressive. Um, but it takes four. Yes. Bad. Yeah, it takes four, four brick pads. And interestingly, <laughs> that if you look, they're all embossed with different numbers, M3, B3. They have to be put in a certain position. And it yeah. goes on that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's <laughs> that's your 400 mil disc, three quarter cross drilled, and center bell, all engraved. Now, believe it or not, that is not far off the same weight. Might be a bit lighter, actually, uh, than the original disc. I'm going to put it down yeah. <laughs> before I drop it. So we've also got the rear kit as well, yeah. um, but we're going to talk about that when it goes on the car, because yeah. we had a few issues making up that kit. Um, so we've now got a bespoke kit that will go on the back of the car, and we'll explain all that as we fit it. But thank you, Martin, for no now. Problem. That's shown everyone the kit. Let's go and get it on the car. Let's do it. Right, now I'm really excited, because Martin says he's got a really important job for me. So I'm going to get this kit off, get changed, and I'm going to see what he wants me to do. So we're just removing the wheels so we can uh, get to the brakes and fit the big brake kit. So George, when are you getting an RS? Now talking of me getting a Focus RS, whether I wanted an MJP car just like this, or of course this really cool black example right next to me, or frankly any other used car for that matter, that's why Car Vertical have sponsored today's video. Now using their used car history checker website, I can type in the details of the vehicle that I've been looking at. Now I found this lovely blue Focus RS, and I can see that it's got no mileage fraud, no issues with theft, but what I can see is it's actually been in an accident. Now the best bit about this is there's loads of photos taken from a car crash auction website that I can actually see the condition of the vehicle. And because I'm not Matt Armstrong, I won't be able to fix this car. So unfortunately, this car is not gonna be for me. But what they do do, guys, is work in over 30 different countries, cover over 411 million different vehicles, and they take all their website information from car crash auction websites, car history checkers, they take it from car manufacturers, car dealerships, so they really do have everything covered. If you wanna get yourself a really good used car history check, use the discount code in the description section below, or using the code that pops up underneath this video, and make sure that you do your used car hunting correctly. Thank you very much, and let's get on with the video. Right, so I've been looking for Owen everywhere. I think Martin's given him a job. Mate, what are you doing? Oh, well, apparently this job is suitable for my level of technical expertise and I'm not allowed to touch the car. Is that all because you screwed up the next base dash cam last oh, week? Oh, we're back to that, are we? Okay, yeah, one mistake and I'm never going to live that down and I get relegated to floor sweeper. But hey-ho. Now, in case you're wondering why I often get changed in and out of uniform, um, oh, you... 
come under here. Uh, you might also be wondering why this car's in pieces and it's because it's having the engine forged. We'll put a link below to the MJ Performance YouTube channel and you can watch that series and the development of that engine. But yes, the reason I get changed in and out of uniform is because to bring the car down, it's a fully marked car. I need to be in uniform to be able to do that. So I'm on duty to bring the car down. When I get here, I'm generally not working when we're filming these videos so I can get changed and I can help out in the build of the car because I like to get my hands dirty. So that's the reason why I'm in and out of uniform. No, you never videos. do any work. Stop talking rubbish. Yeah, like you walking around with a camera, yeah. So Owen, with alloy wheels being such a popular upgrade for car enthusiasts, why have we gone from the RS wheels to these new Revo ones? Well, the ones that we got with the car, the optional forged alloys are a really nice wheel. Um, but aesthetically, I really like the Revo ones as well. And they also work with everything else that we're putting on the car to make it a really balanced uh, package. But I'll hand over to Martin and he'll tell you more about the technical stuff. Right, yes indeed, viewers. Um, so what Owen's got there is, like you said, it's the uh, Revo wheel. It's a flow formed uh, lightweight. It's quite a bit uh, lighter than the original, as Owen's gonna demonstrate now. Um, it's also, eight and a half J as opposed to eight J on the original. So it gives you that better stance. Um, I just like them. I just think it's a great upgrade. I do notice that you've actually got the Revo wheels and some fancy tires on your custom RS over there. Exactly. So that gave chance for yourselves and uh, Owen to see what the cars look like on the car, which I think is important and with a big brake kit. And yes, that runs the optional cut two tires, which we can talk about a bit later on. When choosing modifications for any car, I find myself to be really indecisive. But lucky for us, when myself and Owen actually chose these Revo wheels and the tires, we of course had a lovely example to look at with the MJ Performance Custom RS. Now the other day, we took these wheels down to tire marks in Tavistock, where they very kindly and very carefully, I must add, fitted these lovely PS4S tires to our Revo wheels. <laughs> Now, we're really grateful for them helping us, but also I must say, with the MJ car having Cup 2 tires on that, it's more orientated towards the track. And of course, with ours being primarily a road use police car, naturally, this is the reason we went behind the PS4Ss. MJ Performance here advised that we went for these tires, and with tire marks as well, agreeing strongly on what MJ had to say, naturally, we made the right choice. I hope you guys agree. You'll have to let us know in the comments. But before we summarize the next clip and show you the brakes going on, we wanted to mention the wheel weights. Now on the innermost edge here, we had to get it balanced in that way. Now the reason being is that Martin actually suggested that had we put them on the other side, it would have rubbed up against our massive new calipers. So I've actually made those mistakes with my ST and Martin actually knew about that already. So we're really grateful for the advice because of course we don't want those massive new calipers being wrecked by the wheel weights. So remember to bear that in mind if you go for the MJ setup as well. Right, Mike. I say it's about time we get the old setup off the RS and get the new big boy MJ setup on. Yeah, absolutely. Get these stripped off, all cleaned up, and rebuild the new brakes. So now the 400 mil disc is going on and obviously we're going to have a lot more stopping power. So at some point next year, I'll actually be getting a big brake kit on my ST. And as you can see, the MJ Performance big brake kit looks pretty epic. And I'm seriously jealous that it's going on the Police Focus RS. George, yep. George, have a look at this. Look. So Mike's just taken this off of our car. That's what you'd normally see on okay. the outside of the disc. Have a look at the inside. Oh my God. Yes, um, and apparently, uh, I'm not an MOT tester, but apparently that would probably only be an advisory on the MOT, but as far as I'm concerned, it's time to put that in the bin. Chuck it in the bin, for sure. Uh, oh, what I was gonna mention also is, if the viewers could see this, can I have the camera? Give me the camera there, look. If we turn this around, we've got Nike, Adidas, 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 I'm matching, he's not. Look at the state of that. You can't jump on board with the viewers. I need to be matching, but Nike, they give Adidas, me Jeff in the Nike, comments, Adidas, And now you're seriously. siding with them. Yeah, you can have the camera back now. Right, now, Martin, just while you're doing tire pressures, what PSI do you actually set these wheels at? So on the Mark III Focus RS, uh, we set the rears at a 38 PSI and the front's at 41. That's what's recommended from the manufacturer. We stick to that, and that's when you get your optimum wear, grip, etc. So what we're doing now is Mike's going to be uh, fitting one of our huge monster eight pot progressive piston calibers as we discussed before. It's difficult to try and put it across on camera what it's like compared to the stock braking force on the front. It's like day and night. All right. If so dangerous could be described as good and efficient, yeah. then they would be classed as dangerous in a good way. In a good way. Because, Strange way to describe it. In a good it, way because yeah. Uh, yeah, all your internal organs want to try and jump out of your stomach when you're hard on the brakes. <laughs> you know, so emergency stop wise, you know, and it, and 
I mean, you have sort of like experienced our, our breaks on I the have. Fiesta, George, yeah. didn't you? So, um, and it's, yeah, it's, you get that, some people would get a sicky feeling. Now, there's a really good reason why we've done all of these mods in the one video, and that's because all of these mods are designed to work together, and they are the basis of your car moving forward. Because your main contact patch with the road is there, so it's really important that you've got really good tyres. Now, our really good tyres go over our really lightweight and good rims, which go over the new brakes. So all of this is designed, when it's reassembled, to work seamlessly. We don't have to make alterations that we didn't want to do by cutting away bits of bodywork or using spacers or anything like that. It just all works perfectly, and that's why we've done it all in the one video. Right, guys, so over the years, I've learned a fair amount from quite a few people that I've been making videos with. And Martin, in particular, has given me an experience, let's just say that, in a Fiesta. Now, when we did that, he actually taught me a little trade secret that he gives across to his customers when they purchase big brakes here at MJ Performance. Now, what I'm going to tell you might shock you. Brakes actually make you faster. Now, the reason being is, of course, big brakes will allow you to slow down more efficiently on the roads. But better still, when you're out on a track day, they'll also reduce brake fade. Brake fade can be really annoying because naturally your track time will not be utilized properly if your brakes don't work and you can't do as many laps. But better still, with big brakes like this, like the one we've got on the Focus RS, you'll actually be able to brake later going into corners, which means your lap times will be better and you'll be utilizing your experience on a track day as a whole. So not only do these brakes allow Owen to stop much more efficiently and safely on the roads, but the MJ Performance Big Brake Kit will allow his car to be faster. Just goes to show, you don't always need a forged engine, big turbos, and a remap to make your car quick. Looks like a big brake kit can do that just on its own. So Martin, what exactly are you doing to the rear brake setup on the RS now? Right, so it's pretty straightforward. So original disc off, this is a 300 mil disc, just pass one over to Mike. Um, difference is, that's a solid one piece. This is a two piece. It's got a custom bell built onto it, specifically for this application to, to go with the Reva wheels, so that the offset's correct, matches the front, and the stance is correct. Um, yeah, so, and obviously you can see it's cross drill. Well, that Mike has actually really efficiently put together the rear brake setup on the Focus RS. Now he's doing the braided brake lines now, which is a really good upgrade for any car, even if you do have standard brakes, but it's quite a technical procedure. He also needs to actually bleed the system as well, which can take about 40 minutes, but I must give Mike credit where it's due because he's done so much work behind the camera. And I know these videos come across as really short and efficient, but take it from me, he has done so much work today, so big, big credits to him and Martin here at MJ Performance. The wheels are now back on the car. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm sorry, I need to get close. That just looks amazing. Guys, check this out. You've absolutely really smashed it. Sort of, apart from the wheels needed to be cleaned. Yeah, um, no, but they still look so good. So the wheels are now finally on the car. I'm so excited to check the, oh my gosh. Look how great these things look. So here we are guys, the new wheels and brakes on the Mark III Police Focus RS. Look at them, wow. Now impromptu, I wanna know, the car's just come out of MJ's garage. What do you think, first thoughts of how the car looks? It's awesome, isn't it? I mean, what's, what's the modern word, sick? <laughs> <laughs> looks sick. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> that's right. just lightly touching the back of your eyes. That's almost pulled a muscle in my neck. Owen, I mean, so I think it's safe in saying that we now have a police car, Focus RS, with supercar brakes. What do you have to say about that? Well, you've been out in it, you've experienced <laughs> it. I've yet to, uh, to go out in it, but yeah, I'm sure they're absolutely phenomenal and I'll find out in a minute. But the thing is, this stuff all works as a package and the brakes are brilliant but without having good quality tyres on there it doesn't really work so you know thank you to everyone that's helped us out today martin and the team here for you know fitting the brakes for us but designing them with high spec in the first place it's a phenomenal package revo steve worthington thank you very much up at revo hq there guys if you need any help with choosing wheels or brakes or anything else like that then please ask someone and the guys at revo are really happy to help out if you give them a call tire marks of course they provided the tires for us the michelin tires we are going to do a video later on with michelin to explain some of the r d that goes into those tires so you can look forward to that one but now i'm going to get the car back up to uh, exeter and hq and it's time to go home